student in this video we are going to talk about the free body diagram which is very important topic in the physics to understand the dynamics and one of the favorite question for the examination point of view so let's start as the name suggests free body diagram it means what that you have to imagine if body is free what kind of forces acting on it so the free body diagram this is also called a force diagram because it will give you a diagram to visualize what are the different forces acting on it in any given condition so what this tell you it help us to understand and identify to visualize all the forces acting on there on any object and what will be the effect so let's un understand suppose this is the books which is kept on the book um uh, table so as you can see here if it is in resting uh, stage it means what kind of forces acting on it there will be two kind of forces so suppose if i want to make a free body diagram for this you make a separate diagram so in this system there are two body one is book one is table so we need to separate if i want to know what is force acting on the book you make a certain box to represent the body so this is for book so weight will always act in the downward direction and since it was kept on a table which apply the normal reaction on this body so since they are in same magnitude and directions they cancel and that's why it is in resting position so let's take some more example what we see in every day so free body diagram for this apple which is attached still in the stem as you can see here there is a tension force acting on this so if i want to make the free body diagram for apple when it is attached in the stem i will write there is a tension and there is weight remember weight will always act in the downward direction now if it is plucked and it is in the air now there is no tension what will come so if i want to make a free body diagram for the apple falling in the air resistance which will apply against the the movement of the ball so the weight will be downwards and resistance of the air will be upward so as you can see here this diagram will give a visualization okay what are forcing acting in what direction and what will be the net force acting on it now we'll see some more example which will clarify your all the dots so let's see some of the question so just now we have discussed drawing a free body diagram help us to identify and visualize the what i should write forces acting on object and their effect on object so for example question number 1 you can pause the video and try to make diagram by yourself and further you can verify it yes so this is the example just now we have discussed that weight always acts downward so this will be your weight and this was kept in certain surface so there will be normal reaction which will act here which i am writing with r now let's see here read the question resting on a rough inclined plane so when it is rough it means there will be friction always okay now weight always acts in the downward direction which will be act towards on, on the center of gravity so this will be your weight since this is the natural tendency that due to weight anything will move downward it means it might be moving in this direction so the friction will act in opposite direction so for friction i am writing with a small f so as you can see since since this is balanced whatever force it might be acting in this direction they are all balanced and what is the normal reaction always perpendicular to the direction so these are the forces acting on this box when it is inclined on a plane now falling through the air at constant speed so here you know it's falling through the air means the weight will be always downwards and since it is falling in the air there will be air resistance which will act in the upward direction so i i can just write anything as air resistance like this now next question is suspended on a string so when it is suspended on a string it means what force will act tension so f they have already given you another force will act is the weight which is always downwards which is the uh, wt and this will be your tension so this is the free body diagram acting on all these objects 
now let's see one more example and then it will clarify your all dot so read the question what is this question saying you a truck engine of mass 5000 kg pulls a trailer of mass 1000 kg along a level track at constant acceleration it means we need to write all the data what is given to you acceleration is given to you which is 0 0.1 meter per second square the resistance are 50 newton for the truck engine and 5 newton for the trailer this is the data given with this picture now they are asking draw a free body diagram for the engine and the trailer so let's draw it they are the two body which we have to separate it and make all the forces what we know from this diagram so let's start so suppose this is a one box which I'm writing for the trailer and uh, the next I will write for the engine okay so this I write for engine now if you look this diagram very clearly what they are saying that that the trailer is attached to the engine so there might be a force which is here in the tow bar so this will be a tension so the tension is here since it is moving in this direction toward the right hand side this is the side of movement okay this is the right side with the movement directions I should write movement direction it means the net force would act in this direction so since tension is here it is moving in this direction so the friction which I am writing with a small f and t acting to the left hand side so there is no other force acting on this from this question now let's focus on the engine this data all they have given to you that forward thrust acting on it so when they say forward thrust by engine what does it mean don't be confused this is not your resultant force or net force this is the force which is applied by the engine applied by engine by a consuming fuels okay so suppose if this engine is pushing forward 100 newton but it is not going to move with the same 100 newton because there will be some other forces will acting on this like friction tension so we have to minus all of them so now if you think about this is the friction it is moving this direction so obviously friction will act on this direction so F engine now tension is between the trailer and the engine so tension will be in this direction clear so our first part is clear that we have drawn the free body diagram for trailer as well as engine I hope this is clear now there's no more f uh, forces you can see uh, left over this is the only force and this will give you visualization okay what are forces acting on the left and right and what will be the net force let's come back to the question B1 calculate the tension in connecting bar between the engine and the trailer what they are asking tension do we know tension no do we know friction and trailer yes so what is this data this is your 5 newton what is this 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 is your 50 newton okay so basically I need to figure out what is the tension so if we focus on the trailer okay, I am solving this part B1 look at the trailer okay for trailer the force acting to the right hand side is T force acting to the left hand side is your friction which will be uh, equal to the F net or you can say resultant force yes which will be equal to mass of trailer and acceleration do we know acceleration yes we know this is data given to you so if I now, now want to know T, T will be your what? It will be your MA plus FT. What is the mass? They have given you that it is a thousand. What is acceleration? 0 0.1 plus what is the tension? 5 Newton. So it will be how much? 105 Newton. This is the tension acting between the trailer and the engine. Now let's talk about this part 2 forward thrust exerted by engine so 
second part now look at this diagram on engine figure out all the forces acting on it the right hand side is a forward thrust fe minus why minus because other forces acting in the opposite direction of the right hand side so minus now you can add these two which is the tension plus friction force acting to the left hand side which will be your f net or mass into acceleration of the engine so i need to find what is the forward thrust so i'll put it f will be like this and rest i'll add it over there which is m a plus t plus f e so this will be your 5000 into 0 0.1 plus tension already we have figured out plus they have given you uh, frictional force so this is the frictional small f frictional force so this is the 50 newton now if you solve it it will be your cancel 500 plus 105 plus 50 so it will be around 655 newton I hope this part is clear for the calculating the uh, free body diagram and as well as figuring out what is the effective resultant force. So if you understood this video, I will give you a, one homework. This is a similar kind of question. You can take a snap of this and try to solve this question. Uh, we will see this answer in the next, com uh, next video or you can write in this comment. I will give you the comment over there. Thank you.